So we are comparing the OnePlus 6T versus the Mate 20. So right now we're recording with uh, 1080p and uh, on the back of the phones, the OnePlus T has a dual lens while the uh, Mate 20 has triple lens. So this is the low light test of the front facing camera and let's move on to the back cameras and see which one is better. Going over the front facing camera first, in portrait mode the colors is a bit more contrasty on the OnePlus 6T. On the Mate 20 you have these circle bokeh effects where it looks a little bit more artificial but on the OnePlus I would say the portrait mode does look a bit more natural. Now for the back camera in portrait mode, the Mate 20 is more contrasty and it keeps its color more controlled and the OnePlus is more overexposed than the Mate 20. Both of these cameras do take really similar photos and I find that the Mate 20 has a slight hue of green and the OnePlus has a really slight hue of magenta. Both have a main lens and a telephoto lens but the Mate 20 has an advantage of having the ultra wide lens. For dynamic range, I gotta give it to the OnePlus 6T. The texture of the tree is lost in the shadows in the Mate 20, while the OnePlus, you can see pretty much everything. And I would say that the OnePlus gives a more pleasant and warm vibe of their pictures, while the Mate 20 is more of the contrasty darker side. Now, one is not better than the other, it just creates a different feeling, but that's really self-preference. If you like it harsh, then the Mate 20 can just do it right away. Shooting in portrait slash aperture mode, they both can pick up objects, not just people. On the OnePlus, I couldn't find a way to make the background blur even more, while on the Mate 20, you can actually have control of your f-stop. So flaring on the Mate 20 is not that great. It gives off this weird smudge, while the OnePlus keeps everything in control. The overall nighttime pictures on the Mate 20 is a bit more harsh, again, just like the daytime pictures, and on the OnePlus is a bit brighter in the shadows. So I tried night mode on both cameras and the OnePlus 6T took a while for me to take because with the slightest handshake, the OnePlus picks it up right away, whereas the Mate 20 does a better job stabilizing my handshakes. And the Mate 20 does give off a better exposed image than the OnePlus 6T. But I do find that the Mate 20 is less consistent getting sharper images than the OnePlus. And I would say the images on the Mate 20 is a bit cooler, while the OnePlus is much more warmer. There are times when the Mate 20 does get that sharp image, and the processing do happen a lot, especially with floors and walls. As you can tell, the texture is popping out a lot more than the OnePlus 6T. Now moving on to video in 4K30, the stabilization on the OnePlus 6T is much better than the Mate 20 Pro, but the trade-off is that the OnePlus 6T has more jitter going on because of that electronic stabilization trying to stabilize itself. And for the color, the Mate 20 is much more warmer than the OnePlus 6T. So the OnePlus 6T can shoot in 4K60, while the Mate 20 is stuck at 4K30. Now there's no stabilization on the 4K60, but if you want to shoot in a higher frame rate then you can, or just shoot cinematic videos like I would with a gimbal and slow it down. Now moving on to the low light video, the first thing I notice is on the OnePlus, it's a really strong shade of green. Both of these cameras do not do any good in low light at all. As you can tell, the image is really blurry and that's just the effect of the image stabilization. There's a bunch of noise and artifacts going on with the whole image, but if I had to pick one, I would go with the OnePlus 6T. The dynamic range is better, as you can tell looking at the back behind Darien, you can clearly see what's inside the buildings on the OnePlus, whereas the Mate 20, it's really overblown and it's, it's lost. So both of these cameras do take really good quality pictures, it's just the characteristics that they produce is a bit different. The biggest downside for me is the OnePlus's night mode. I wish it was less sensitive to handshakes, but the stabilization on the OnePlus 6T is really good. It doesn't sway as much as the Mate 20, and if you imagine putting this on a gimbal, then it will be that much better. So that is my comparison between these two phones. I really want to try to make it short, simple, straight to the point, and tell you guys the differences. Let me know what I should cover more of, and even within this video or in the past videos, what should I skip? Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.